Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to make your Windows PC or Mac Windows faster. In case you have, so in our case here, uh, the computer is slow and also makes some noise. And I'm going to show you how to make it run fast. Yeah, it takes long on booting. So I'm going to quickly show you how to speed up the process. Uh, as we log into our PC, so as you can see, it's a bit slow. So what we are going to do, uh, we are going to do a little bit of some few things. We are going to go to this PC here. So on this PC, I want you to right click. So this is a uh, Core i5 and 8 GB RAM and it is, seems to be very slow. So what we are going to do, we are going to go to this PC, this PC, then we shall go to drives, then we shall try to go and to go to properties, then on properties you take this cleanup and leave it to run for a while then to show you some of the files you have to uh, to delete some of them and this won't affect your computer files uh, to just move temporary files and you'll be able to see everything so the next tip I'm going to show you some of the files that you can access as the computer cleans up I want you to go to run can search for run here or you can click the windows key windows key plus r then on run i want you to enter temp then click enter then to open this folder so this cleanup has come up here so you have to go and check we see in the recycle bin there's nothing and we have 900 MBs that can be freed on your computer then you click OK then delete file this won't affect your computer files it will just delete the temporary files or Windows error files so on this part after selecting our run this is the temp file as you can see if you try to go and select all files these are some of the temporary files uh, here it is showing 990 something MBs so I want you to click shift delete this will delete everything but won't affect anything on the computer you won't lose your files uh, this, these are just temporary files then another tip you are going to click again the windows key plus to bring up the run then I want you to click add percentage then temp with percentages here you can click skip don't skip then this side again you're going to go ahead and select everything and check for the space of the temporary files so for this side I was very shocked that we have 83 GBs of temporary files yeah this is a heavily used computer for editing so we have a lot of temporary files and this case here you do the same you control uh, you shift delete then everything will be cleared so I'm going to do that later then the next thing what you do we go back to our this PC and right click on this boot properties then I want you to go ahead and click tools and then you go to optimize when you click optimize uh, this the drive that you see up here you can analyze it to see if you have fragmented files on it 
Uh, this will also help your computer to run smooth because you'll be able to fix every related files together. Uh, shows this disk is nice and working very well. You don't need to optimize it, but if it had some percentage here, you just click optimize. Uh, the next thing, the next other free tip, you have to click Control Alt Delete. You go to Task Manager. If your PC is still slowing down, I want you to go to Startup and see what files start when your computer is booting. As you can see, we have Adobe. We have everything running. But these files you can always, I'm saying Nero, you can always switch them off because you're not going to use them. When you want to use them, you can just click on them. So I'm going to disable all these ones. Like Dropbox is disabled. You can disable those things that you don't use, like this one. I think this is a virus. I'm going to show you in our next video how to fix this. how to remove them so for another tip i don't want to make this video long for the startup itself you can click run again the windows key plus r and type ms config when you click ms config to go ahead i'm going to cancel this it will open this part here then i want you to go to boot so when the computer boots up i want you to go to advanced options you have to select the numbers of processors that the computer will use to start in my case i'm going to put there four cores so the computer will boot up very quickly then i click ok then i apply and after applying click ok then the computer will ask for us to reboot and i'm going to click restart now i want us to see how this computer is going to run first remember i didn't delete i didn't delete the file on the the one that had 80 gb but i'm going to do the deleting next time then here computer is restarting but we have to click as you know on mac you have to click alt to select the alternative disk so in my case i'm going to select this then i boot so you want us to see if the computer starts very quickly after doing all those changes yes there is no editing in this video so this is a fresh and rock video so this is how our computer is starting. So this is taking a little bit longer, but it's coming. Yeah, this is a little bit faster than before. So thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, comment, like, share, and also click the bell icon in order to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Uh, after everything is done, you're good to go but i'm going to go ahead and delete these files uh, later so thanks for watching have a nice time goodbye